Okay, it's time now to catch up with Darren Hunter to find out what's been happening at our eco house. Over the last two weeks, we've been talking about what an eco house is and how you get a project like this off the ground. Now it's time to see what it's going to look like. Hey, Darren, now you've got a flyby going for us, which yep. I'm really curious to see what that is. Yep, um, as promised, we've got a flyby from uh, a guy called Reese Warnock, and um, he's He's come up with a, a fly through for the whole eco house. We've got the eco house on the screen now. We've just flown through the walls, the roof, the slope of the roof, gull wing roof. Panning down, this is the north elevation with all the glazing in the front of it. This is yep. so groovy, isn't it, technology? Yeah, right. it's, it's amazing. So um, we're panning right round to the back now. Obviously, you can see the shadow there from the, on the southern side of the house. Yeah. And we keep on flying through. Again, you can see the gull wing roof and the shadows on the ground indicate where the sun's coming from. Wow. Perfect. And uh, these are our guys still standing at the front of the house, haven't done much. And <laughs> uh, we shoot inside. Oh, wow. So all so the cool. grey is concrete walls and all, of, all the brown timber is, is plywood and natural um, sustainable timber from New Zealand. Yeah. And the fly through is panning into the kitchen, the granite bench tops. And then you'll see on the telly, there's a bit of choice TV on there. And you, you and Sharon. You and Sharon and I. And um, there's a guy with his sandals walking through. Wow, that's, that's really... So that's what it's going to look like? That's what it's going to look like. That's pretty neat, eh? It is cool. It's super techy, though, is it? Is that uh, what you do with all house owners these days? No, for this particular project, we've um, got the fly-through because we want to have um, some sunlight study. So we've, we've made a model, we'll throw the sun into the house and uh, show the clients how you fly through the house and um, how it's all going to look. How much of, a, how much of the, that was the clients and how much was you? Um, the furniture is all us. Um, Reese Warnock's put that together for us and the, the material selection is we've decided with the clients. Yep. The roof lines I've decided to, to work in with the eco principles. Yep. So, uh, joint effort. Well, let's, let's break it down a little bit more. Let's, let's have a look at the floor plan first. Okay. Now, there's a lot of glass in the front. How, how does that go? Is that, does that help with warming the house or are you yeah. open to losing a lot of heat? You're um, typically trying to capture as much light in the house as possible. Yep. The light comes into the house and the concrete sucks up the, the sunlight. What about in winter when it's dreary and gross and there's not much sun? There's um, double glazing in the joinery, so that stops a lot of heat escaping. The clients will probably have drapes through the house. But the log burner obviously will come into, into its own during the winter time. And so if we have a look at the roof line, um, the solar panels, are they the black section there? Yeah, the, the, the gold wing roof, the, the black portion has got um, the photovoltaic panels on it. And the, obviously the other part of the gold wing is to open the house up for the glazing to allow the sun to penetrate into the, into the centre of the property. And if we look at the next one, this is, this is obviously we see the angle of the roof, but it all goes into a single gutter. Now, my dad would tell me, <laughs> as a plumber, never go single gutters Why? if you can, Why? because it's a place where the water can pull, and then if it gets blocked, leak. it can leak back into right. the house. Now, it's, it's an interesting choice. It, yeah, Justify it. Yeah, you're rightly Justify. so. <laughs> Justify it. Justify now, or you're out. Right, <laughs> rightly so. My dad knows it all, man. Yeah. We've got, um, we've got two downpipes, one at either end. Yes. So if one fails, if kids kick the ball up there and it blocks the drain, the Perfect. idea is the water can go to the other end and, and disperse through there. But the principle for this, it's easy catchment of the water. goes into the downpipes, straight into the water tanks, which will then get used into the house. Oh, and that's basically the water collection that's process. It. That's, that's it. it. Yep. Heated yeah, by the sun. Oh, and now God. the back wall, it's all concrete. Not a lot of glass, no, not, a, not no. a lot of light coming out through there. As you imagine, the south side of the house, you don't want a lot of heat being lost through there. Really small windows to yeah. stop the heat escaping. And... Um, the entranceway and the, and the wood storage area are all hidden underneath the roof. You talked about concrete walls before, about the heat not escaping and being trapped within the walls. Aren't concretes um, just quite cold anyway? Walls? The, the walls feel cold, um, but if you've got sunlight shining on that wall, you sit on the footpath after a, a long day in the sun, the concrete's warm. Yeah, and sunlight. So it's going to have a feeling of warmth, but it will have other timbers and other colours in there to warm the, warm the interior up. Does well, it absorb the heat coming from the log? Burner? Yes, very much Great. so. Yep. And we also saw that the wood panelling, there's a lot of wood panelling on the inside. Yep. Um, that, that warms up all the concrete effect though, doesn't it? Yes, definitely. As you can see from the image here, we've got um, plywood on the ceilings with a, with a timber batten, um, the granite bench tops, furnishings. You know, we've, we've kept the palette, colour palette quite simple here, but the clients will have um, brightly coloured furniture and cushions. Now, I'm going a bit techy on the question here, like it's batteries from the solar panels, we're storing all our heat and, and whatnot. Um, how, 
how does that cost effectively? Yeah. You know, like the batteries are expensive, and yet in 20 to 20 years, they kind of the use by date rolls around. You've got to replace them. Why not be attached to the grid and feedback? I think this, um, the clients have brought their own their own wishes to the oh, okay. to the project. They want to they want to be off grid. Yes, it is costing more, but the power bill never goes down. The cost yeah. of electricity is continually going up. Mm. Twenty years ago, wind power was too expensive to generate. Whereas in the Wellington area, there's wind it's turbines normal. everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, interestingly, the design of the front of the house is very pretty because it's all glass. Was that your idea? Yes, yes, but also also driven by the the, 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 the idea of getting the sun into the house. Yeah. The more glass, the better. And there were some basket-like things hanging. hanging. You <laughs> liked those, Josh? Oh, you liked the baskets? Oh, what, they were hanging down inside. What are they for? Oh, there's a, there's a central, there's a wall in the middle of the entranceway. Yes. And it's called a gabion basket. So it's a wire mesh. You might have seen them on the side of the road. Yeah. It's basically filled with river rocks. Yes. Well, that river rock will absorb the heat when the sun shines oh, on it. Of course. And then at night, when the temperature drops, it will release that heat. So it's it's a it's an aesthetic thing, but it's also a practical thing. Naturally fueled by energy around you. What kind of savings do the client expect to make from an eco house like this? Their initial outlay is going to be substantial, it'll be tens of thousands of dollars, mm. but they will have no bills whatsoever. No heating bills, no water heating bills, no electricity wow. bills. Remember that, no bills is the final line. I That's like pretty it. wicked, I isn't like it? it? It's pretty cool. Good on you, Darren. Thank you. Perfect. And next week we're actually going to meet the clients. Yes, out on site. I can't wait, can't wait. It'd be nice to, to get a uh, face to the people that we've been talking about. Exactly. Yes. We'll yeah. look forward to it.